degree recipients, during your first year at the Citadel, the theme of our leadership symposium was resilience in a changing world. It sought to teach you that resilience is the key to finding ways to overcome the misfortune and the change that we all encounter, and therefore an important trait for all people, but especially for their leaders to acquire, to cultivate, and to apply to carry themselves and our country forward. Class of 2020, you have learned your lessons well. You have distinguished yourselves in completing your college career under unprecedented circumstances. The resilience that you have demonstrated over the last four years, but especially in this year's final semester, will serve you and our country well in the years ahead. Hi everyone, this is Darren Zimmerman, Dean of the Swain Family School of Science and Mathematics. Though we can't be together this time, I just want to extend to you my heartfelt congratulations on a job well done. You've accomplished much in becoming a graduate of the Citadel. I want to congratulate not only you, but also your families, your parents, your friends, your loved ones, anyone who supported you along this journey. Know that we will always be incredibly proud of what you've done what you've accomplished here. Know too that we are depending on you to continue to take up that mantle of leadership as you serve your country, uh, as you serve society in whatever you do. Congratulations to the class of 2020 for your numerous accomplishments, perseverance and resilience during these unprecedented times and for the hope you provide all of us as we celebrate your graduation and the next step to one day lead in our world. I especially want to give a thunder shout out to all the engineering and project management graduates. You chose the major and difficult subjects to place yourself on the path to solving current and future problems for our world. I salute you for all you have accomplished, and I envy you as you start on the next phase of your selfless journey to make the world a much better place as each generation of engineers before you. God bless you and your families. Be safe and be well. Congratulations, Citadel Class of 2020 from Interim Dean Renee Jefferson of the Zucker Family School of Education. I am proud to have been a part of your Citadel experience and applaud your accomplishments. While your journey may have included twists and unexpected turns, you stayed the course. You made it. You are intelligent, resilient, and ready to embrace the future as principled educational leaders. Hello, I'm Michael Weeks. I'm Dean of the Baker School of Business. Congratulations to all of our graduates today. We're so proud to celebrate with you and your family and your friends this special occasion that marks the end of your Citadel journey. We know you're gonna do great things as you leave here and in times like this, we see the need for principled leaders that the Citadel produces in all areas of society. We look forward to seeing the great things you'll accomplishment, accomplish as Citadel alumni. And again, congratulations, well done. Hello everyone, I'm Molly Spearman, State Superintendent of Education and very honored to serve on the Citadel Board of Visitors. Congratulations graduates. You have met this tremendous milestone in your life. We're so proud that you'll now wear the ring and become a member of the Long Gray Line. This class of 2020 has felt adversity that we could never predict, but you've handled it well. Adversity builds perseverance. Perseverance builds character and character hope. Good morning and welcome to the Citadel's 151st Commencement Day and the first virtual commencement exercise in the history of our college. I'm Sally Selden, the Provost and Dean of the College, and today we celebrate the achievements of the unstoppable class of 2020. It is my pleasure to welcome each of you to today's virtual celebration. The class of 2020 includes 590 cadets from 34 states across our nation and six countries across the world. 
The class is strong through the common bonds of honor, duty, and respect, the hallmark values of a Citadel graduate. We will now hear the invocation given by Commander Joe Molina, chaplain to the South Carolina Corps of Cadets, followed by the national anthem. There is a time for everything and a season for every activity under heaven. And in the midst of uncertainty, we take pause, undaunted by the times, to celebrate the accomplishments of the Corps of Cadets. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, indeed another time has come to bid farewell to our students and friends, but also it is a good time to do that which is pleasing and right in your sight. For we gather to recognize the accomplishments of the men and women of the Corps of Cadets, Class of 2020, the long days of hard work are behind them. Hours of study and preparation are now complete. And their commitment and dedication have given way to recognition and celebration. And a new beginning has broken. And so we are grateful to see this good work in a world where so much can go wrong. We are filled with hope for our future because of who they are and what they have accomplished. We gratefully acknowledge their families for their many sacrifices, encouragement, and support over the years. The committed professors, mentors, administrators, and staff that have been part of their journey. Their hopes, labors, and sacrifices are bearing fruit today. So bless them, Lord, this day with an extra measure of strength and grace. We now look into the future of our graduates, for now their real work begins. Grant them, we pray, that they may always bring honor to our beloved school, their professions, their families, their relationships. May they face the opportunities and challenges ahead with confidence in your unfailing presence and our unconditional support. Bless us all as we go about our duties and responsibilities, always mindful that you are the giver of all knowledge, wisdom, love, and compassion. Amen. It's now my pleasure to introduce the 20th President of the Citadel, General Glenn Walters, to speak to you. Welcome to the members of the Class of 2020. Ladies and gentlemen, I am delighted that we are able to conduct our first and hopefully last virtual commencement. We are living in an unprecedented time. The tragedies, families, our nation, and the entire world are suffering are unique in living memory. This disruption caused by the pandemic pervades our lives in ways we could not anticipate. We all would have preferred to gather together to share the joy of this achievement as the Citadel family, but that is simply not possible. 
Through it all, I have been struck by the resilience and performance of our faculty, staff, and cadets. They truly rose to the challenge, but I'd like to focus on the class of 2020. You are embarking today on lives of consequence. One of the Citadel's missions to prepare principal leaders has left you well equipped to face your performance these last two months has been exemplary. While spending these closing days of your civil career off campus is a heavy blow, I believe it further burnishes your ability to achieve great things. The class of 2020 will become a historic class, counted as one of our finest ever. I offer my sincere congratulations for all of your accomplishments at the Citadel and my best wishes for your future as you move on to serve your communities and our nation. This unique commencement is also the anniversary of another milestone. 50 years ago, the Citadel welcomed its first African-American Corps of Cadets graduate, Charles Foster. As a member of the class of 1970, we have celebrated this anniversary in a variety of ways throughout the year. And as we navigate this crisis, I'd ask you to take a moment and reflect on the challenge Mr. Foster faced in a different era of trial and strife. The Siddell experience is a family affair. Great sacrifices are made by many to get you here during normal times. The extraordinary circumstances of these past weeks only highlighted the impacts those supporting each of you even if it was simply having to welcome you back home. So to the families and friends who made this day possible, I send greetings and heartfelt thanks. Gail and I have enjoyed getting to know your sons and daughters. We miss the life and energy they bring to this campus. We wish all of them the best. As we move ahead, each of you are in, your, are in our thoughts and prayers. Congratulations to you all. I'd like to thank the distinguished leadership of the Citadel Board of Visitors, past presidents, the Commandant of Cadets, and the President of the Citadel Alumni Association, who have all contributed to the success of the Citadel and the Class of 2020. Graduation Day places the spotlight on the primary mission of the institution, academic achievement. As a college, we understand that the greatest tool in any military engagement or civilian career is one's mind. The faculty have worked to engage and challenge our students during their time here. Many people are involved in educating principal leaders, the academic leadership of the Citadel, the deans, academic department heads, chair of the faculty senate, and more than 200 talented and dedicated women and men of the Citadel faculty. This has been especially important this year as we transition from face-to-face -face classroom instruction to an online model. Our faculty recreated more than 1,400 classes to enable our cadets and students to graduate on time or to continue their academic progress. They have served the class of 2020 with passion and distinction. At this time, we will hear remarks from Cadet Colonel Richard Schneider, Regimental Commander of the South Carolina Corps of Cadets. The Citadel Ring. In life, I believe you leave two legacies. Both can be explained by this ring. On the inside, it tells a story. Whether you put your name, your company, a quote, or even a joke, you put a piece of who you are. Let this story represent your life. This is the part that you get to define. It's the part that no one sees but means the most to you. On the inside of my ring, I put a quote that I've used as a daily reminder on how to live my life. It reads, you don't deserve anyone, and no one deserves you. The first part, you don't deserve anyone, means to treat everyone as a blessing. Friend, family, or stranger, no matter how they treat you or they do you wrong, act with an unwavering level of respect. You never know what someone is going through, and how you carry yourself may be a light to that individual. The second part, no one deserves you, means to hold yourself to a standard, a moral and ethical standard that many people don't deserve yet be willing to forfeit all of who you are, mind, time, and energy, to the people around you. 
Your character may be the example that influences them to live a more honorable life. I share that with you because I believe many of you exhibit these qualities day in, day out, and I want to recognize you for it and ask you to never change. No matter what you pursue, be selfless in your actions and always aspire to give back to the people in your life. This is how many of you inspired my story, and I want to thank you for it. On the outside of the Citadel Ring, it tells a different story. This is the part that we get to define. This is the part that the rest of the world sees. How will we as a class contribute to the reputation that this ring represents? As we depart from this institution, we all have an obligation to serve this legacy. The Citadel's legacy. We are each one piece in a seemingly infinite puzzle that currently has over 7 billion people. That can make you feel incredibly insignificant or wildly ambitious. You don't need to change the entire image, but understand all of you have that potential. And we can all do our part to leave the world a little better than we found it. There are days where it can feel like we have fallen so far off track as a society. Days where it feels like we are disconnected. Where people are so absorbed in technology and advancing their own work and leaving their own personal legacy that they are ignorant to the joy that is to serve something greater than themselves. So leave a legacy. Tell your story. And write it well. Live it well. But remember to serve the legacy on the outside of the ring because it gives you a selfless cause. The world is in desperate need of people just like you. People with an innate desire to do nothing more than to serve others. People who seek no recognition for their good works and accomplishments. People who publicly bear the burden of all their faults and wrongdoings. And people who believe that they have the capacity as well as the responsibility to pick up the pieces in this puzzle that is life and help put it back together. I believe all of us were blessed with a different, scarce perspective on the world by coming to this institution. And it is now our jobs to share it for the rest of our days. Give back to the world a citadel man or woman. Do that and I believe we will do our part to represent our generation and honor the ring we wear. What you do or accomplish in your one life is temporary. But how you influence and inspire people in your one life, that lasts forever. Thank you, Cadet Snyder. At this time, we will hear remarks from Cadet Captain Sam Santiago, Senior Class President. At the start of the year, when we were together for our senior reception, nine of you who didn't show had missed out on an opportunity to get a free class ring. It is certainly ironic that now, at the end of the year, you nine, as well as the rest of us, are missing out, this time on our McAllister Fieldhouse graduation. This unique ceremony is one of many challenges our class experienced, especially in our final year together. Yet, as a class, we responded in a brave, proud, and unyielding manner without retreat. Such a response ultimately shows the bond we have, which is why I believe our class is known as the class that stood tall. An analogy I once heard can be related to one of the most difficult decisions a leader must make, and that is knowing when to jump on the grenade. On February 6th, two cadets decided to jump on that grenade. On this day, the Corps was conducting its usual practice parade at the same time a funeral service was being held for Cadet Joe Fernandez. Cadets Henry Brown and William Mathis had instructed their battalion to conduct an about face and salute the casket as it was being brought into the chapel, an action that was against protocol. Despite potential repercussions, these two stood tall. Their actions were not to disrespect the administration, but rather to show respect toward a fallen Citadel brother. That night, Ben Snyder, our regimental commander, gave a memorial speech in honor of Joe. He made some reassuring remarks we all needed to hear, and not because it was outlined in the guide to being a cadet officer, but because the Corps was hurting and his focus was not on himself, but rather on how he could support us. At a pivotal moment during the year, when core morale was at an all-time low, these individuals made decisions that were brave, proud, and unyielding. They stood tall. And then we had people like Alex Daniel. Alex also knows when to make the tough call, like asking the commandant they could fix the ice cream machine, the senior mess. 
even though the commandant replied with, you don't need it, Alex stood tall, and shortly thereafter, ice cream was in fact restored to the senior mess. Truth is, we have all stood tall in our own way. We behaved bravely as we helped and encouraged those around us. These relationships we have built create the bonds that are necessary for a successful and fulfilling life. Our lives revolve around the relationships we make. So what does this mean for our class? It means that we must never forget. We must never forget where we came from, where we are, where we are going, and the relationships we create along the way. It's with our strong relationships that we can stand tall. As I close my speech, I want to say thank you. Thank you to the college for organizing one of the most interesting graduations ever recorded. To all of my friends who supported me along the way, and especially my karaoke group. To my parents and family for making these last four years possible. And all of you parents for allowing me to meet such wonderful people from the class of 2020. Lastly, to the class of 2020, I want to say thank you. Thank you for allowing me to be a part of your lives. And most importantly, thank you for standing tall. Thank you, Cadet Santiago. We now come to the presentation of special awards. Each year, the first and second honor graduate awards are presented to the first class cadets who attain the highest academic standing in the class based on total college record. Both the first and second honor graduates receive an inscribed plaque and a stipend. In addition, the first honor graduate receives the scholarship medal. The David Shingler Spell first honor graduate is Cadet Lieutenant Jeffrey Hunter McGee. The David Shingler Spell second honor graduate is Cadet Lieutenant Colonel James Ray Quimby. These awards will be presented by Colonel Robert Lyon, member of the Board of Visitors. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank Dr. Selden for the opportunity that has been given to me to recognize an outstanding Citadel Cadet. Cadet Lieutenant Colonel Jeffrey Hunter McGee from Bowling Green, Kentucky has earned a perfect grade point average of 4.0 in accounting. He is a member of Kappa Phi Honor Society and Omicron Delta Kappa. For the past year, he provided exemplary leadership to the Corps of Cadets as the regimental academic officer. Upon graduation, Mr. McGee will be taking a position as a risk advisory consultant for Ernst & Young in Charlotte, North Carolina. Congratulations to Mr. McGee on this outstanding achievement. I would also like to remind Mr. McGee that he has served in a system with an honor code, and he will carry that honor code and its tenets with him for the rest of his life. I would also remind Mr. McGee that he has an alma mater which requires him to live by a certain code. Peace and honor, God and country, we pledge to fight for those tenants. Mr. McGee, congratulations. When you reverse your ring, you become a member of the South Carolina Corps of Cadet Long Gray Line. We welcome you, Mr. McGee, to our ranks. Cadet Lieutenant Colonel James Ray Quimby from York, South Carolina is a physics major who has also earned a grade point average of 4.0 over his four years as a cadet at the Citadel. Cadet Quimby is the recipient of numerous academic scholarships. He is a member of Phi Kappa Phi Honor Society and Omicron Delta Kappa. For the past year, he provided outstanding leadership to the Corps of Cadets as 2nd Battalion Commander. Upon graduation, Cadet Quimby will serve his country as a second lieutenant in the United States Air Force. He will proceed to Air Force training upon graduation, where he hopes to become an Air Force test pilot. In addition to his outstanding academic achievements, 
He has served in a system with an honor code. Carry that honor code with you throughout the rest of your life. You have also taken on an extra load in the alma mater where we pledge to fight for peace and honor, God and country. Don't forget these. When you reverse your ring, you become a member of the Corps of Cadet Long Gray Line. We welcome you to that line, Mr. Quimby, and look forward to your future service to this country. The next award is the John O. Wilson Ring. Dr. John O. Wilson was a Citadel graduate, class of 1862, and a cavalry man in Company F, 6th South Carolina Cavalry, and a unit made up of Citadel cadets. He became a successful lawyer, preacher, and editor, and served as the second president of Lander College in Greenwood, South Carolina. He established a fund for the John O. Wilson Ring in 1911. The coveted John O. Wilson Ring is given each year in honor of the late Dr. Wilson to the first class cadet voted by classmates as the finest, purest, and most courteous member of the class. Colonel Greg Delaney, member of the Board of Visitors, will present the award. The 2020 recipient of the John O. Wilson Ring is Cadet Colonel Richard Benjamin Schneider. The class of 2020 voted to award the Wilson Ring to Cadet Richard Benjamin Snyder from Powell, Ohio. Ben is receiving his Bachelor of Science degree in Business Administration today. Because of his outstanding leadership abilities, Cadet Snyder was selected to serve as Regimental Commander of the Corps of Cadets. Academically, Cadet Snyder has excelled, earning Dean's List recognition for all eight semesters. He is a distinguished military graduate and will enter the Army upon graduation, where his first assignment is to attend the Infantry Basic Officer Leader course in Fort Benning, Georgia. In keeping with the long-standing tradition, I am also presenting Cadet Snyder with a letter from last year's recipient of the Wilson Ring, Cadet Mitchell Felt. Next year at this time, Cadet Snyder, it will be your responsibility to carry on this tradition by sending a letter to the Wilson Ring recipient for the class of 2021. Congratulations. We will now present the Algernon Sidney Sullivan Awards. Algernon Sidney Sullivan, American jurist, statesman, and orator, has been memorialized by the New York Southern Society for constant helpfulness to his fellow man, an immaculate life, and never failing fidelity to public and private trust. At selected institutions across the country, awards bearing his name are given to those whose deeds make them deserving. The Citadel is pleased to present awards to individuals who have exemplified the traits which distinguished Mr. Sullivan. The two recipients this year are Professor Kristen Hefner and Cadet Captain Olivia Jones. Dr. Hefner's work exemplifies the defining values of the Sullivan Award. Demonstrating a heart of service for a community, Dr. Hefner has distinguished herself as a teacher scholar, spearheading community outreach initiatives in the areas of victim advocacy, domestic violence education, and creating rich service learning opportunities for her students. For her service learning projects with People Against Rape, a community nonprofit, Dr. Hepner and her students were awarded the Good Citizen Award by the Charleston County Sheriff's Office. Sheriff Cannon and community victim advocates seek to continue Dr. Hepner's humanitarian work, whereby students have created over 200 uplifting and encouraging cards for survivors who have been impacted by violence. As a compassionate humanitarian and change maker in our own community, we are so pleased to present Dr. Hefner with the Algernon Sidney Sullivan Award. Congratulations. Cadet Olivia Jones is an honors program student majoring in political science with a concentration in military affairs. She also serves as a company commander for Papa Company, maintaining company morale while also adhering to the highest ethical standards. Cadet Jones has demonstrated her commitment as a servant leader throughout her time at the Citadel, creating a summer food service program, servicing 3,700 meals to low-income families, promoting quality of life initiatives for Native American families in New Mexico, and providing community training for the most vulnerable in those communities. Congratulations, Cadet Jones. 34 years ago, the college established a James A. Grimsley Jr. Award for undergraduate teaching excellence. 
The award recognizes outstanding performance by a member of the undergraduate faculty in the area of teaching and service to undergraduate students. The recipient of this year's award is chosen by the senior class from among faculty nominated by students, faculty, and department heads. The 2020 recipient of the Grimsley Award is Dr. Jason Howison, Associate Professor of Mechanical Engineering. Dr. Howison earned his PhD from the University of Tennessee, his master's from the University of Virginia, and his bachelor's from Clemson University. Dr. Harrison delivers excellence in teaching through care and concern for students, and by being a master teacher in his specialization, which is aerodynamics and thermofluids. What is remarkable is that students give him top marks while simultaneously noting how hard they have to work in his classes and labs. Congratulations, Dr. Jason Howison. I will now turn the program back to General Walters. We are honored to welcome our commencement speaker, General Joseph Francis Dunford, Jr., United States Marine Corps, retired. General Dunford served as the 19th Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, the nation's highest ranking military officer, and the principal military advisor to the President of the United States. General Dunford also served as the 36th Commandant of the Marine Corps, Assistant Commandant of the Marine Corps, and the commander of the International Security Assistance Force and United States Forces Afghanistan. He is the first Marine Corps officer to serve in four different four-star positions and holds postgraduate degrees from Georgetown University and the Fletcher School of Law and Diplomacy. In recognition of his remarkable achievements and matchless service to his country, the Siddle Board of Visitors proudly named General Dunford an honorary doctor in national security affairs. It is now my pleasure to introduce our 2020 commencement speaker, General Joseph Francis Dunford, Jr., United States Marine Corps, retired. General Mrs. Walters, ladies and gentlemen, and most of all to the class of 2020, I'm honored to be a part of this year's commencement ceremony. I'd like to begin by thanking the family members, faculty, staff and mentors that have invested so much in this year's graduating class. You've been a part of their accomplishments over the last four years and you've prepared them well for the road ahead. I also want to wish the mothers that are listening a happy Mother's Day. I know we're all disappointed to be conducting a virtual ceremony this year. We're missing the opportunity to gather with our families and celebrate a truly significant day in our lives. We're missing the opportunity to spend one last day with coaches, professors, staff, and friends. And we're missing the final dress parade and other graduation week events. When I receive the invitation to join you, I look forward to being with you on campus. I look forward to spending a beautiful spring weekend in Charleston with good friends. And most of all, I look forward to seeing your faces and the faces of your family and friends as you received your diploma with pride. When I received the invitation to join you at commencement, I didn't anticipate being in my house one more day and recording this message for you on my iPad. But this is where we are. So it's natural that we think about what we're missing today. But I also know that we're not gonna let what we're missing today define the class of 2020 will be the lasting memory of our time at the Military College of South Carolina. Commencement is an opportunity to reflect on what we've accomplished and to focus on the promise of the future. It's an opportunity to thank those who have helped us along the way. Class of 2020, that's our mission today. And if I know anything about Citadel graduates, they accomplished the mission, even under challenging conditions. So class of 2020, you should be feeling very proud right now. Four years ago, you came to the Citadel to challenge yourself physically, mentally, and academically, and you met that challenge. And some of you have accepted the additional challenge of commissioned service. And I'd like to personally recognize the 211 members of the class of 2020 that will leave the Citadel and go on to lead our soldiers, sailors, airmen, and Marines. I know our men and women in uniform will thrive under your leadership. But for the Citadel class of 2020, whether you be leading in uniform or in civilian clothes, 
you'll be leading. That's just what Citadel graduates do. My expectations have been shaped by your reputation, but they've also been shaped by serving alongside Citadel grads for over 40 years of commissioned service. My first mentor and fellow lieutenant was Bill McKenna. Bill was a product of the Marine Enlisted Commissioning Program and a member of the class of 1976. He showed me how to accomplish the mission and maintain high standards while taking care of people, how to listen, how to engage, how to lead from the front. I was promoted a major by Colonel Myron Harrington, a Navy Cross recipient from the Battle of Way City and a member of the class of 1960. In the short time I was around Colonel Harrington, I saw the impact of an accomplished, courageous combat leader who served others with humility, character, and compassion. And his service to others continued long after his time in uniform. In my last assignment, I served with General Frank McKenzie, a member of the class of 1979. Frank and I have been friends and served together for over 30 years. He currently commands all U.S. forces in the Middle East, from Egypt to Pakistan. Early in our careers, I admired Frank's inspirational leadership, his intellect, and his competence. Over the last four years, I came to appreciate his moral courage, his strategic vision, and his selfless service at the pinnacle of U.S. military leadership. But my impression of Citadel graduates goes beyond my military service. I arrived for my first tour of duty in Washington, D.C. in January of 1982. Less than a week later, an Air Florida flight crashed into the Potomac River shortly after takeoff. I remember hearing about one of the passengers who survived the crash and helped five others escape the sinking plane before losing his own life. It was the stuff of legends. That passenger was a Citadel graduate. He was Arlen Dean Williams, Jr class of 1957. Even after initially surviving that horrific crash, his first instinct was to lead and look out for others. Members of the class of 2020, I know most of you are not going to serve on active duty in the military, and few will find yourselves in situations like Arlen Williams. But most of you will lead others in industry, education, or some other form of public service. And I hope when you lead, you simply remember what you've been taught here at the Citadel. I hope you simply remember the most important lesson from graduates like Bill McKenna, Myron Harrington, Frank McKenzie, and Arlen Williams, is that when you're a leader, it's no longer about you. If you lead with the integrity, competence, and selflessness emphasized over the past four years and embodied by those individuals I just mentioned, You'll come to know the sense of accomplishment that can only come from inspiring others to excellence. Citadel class of 2020, in the interest of time, I didn't talk much today about the challenges facing our country. But you recognize that we live in an incredibly complex and volatile period. The pace of change is unprecedented. We're in the midst of a pandemic with extraordinary health and economic implications. And this is all happening when trust in institutions and in leaders is eroding. Navigating in the days ahead is going to take leadership. And your generation of leaders is going to play an increasingly important role. Our education system, the private sector, and our government all need strong leaders. And as Citadel graduates, I believe you're uniquely capable of providing that leadership. So I'll close by making a simple request. Regardless of where life takes you, have the moral courage to do what's right, even when it's tough. Commit to being part of something greater than yourself. And in the end, perhaps inspired by one of your predecessors from the Citadel, perhaps inspired by one of the individuals I mentioned today, be a leader of consequence. Thank you again for the opportunity to be part of this year's commencement ceremony. God bless you all in your future endeavors, and Semper Fidelis. Thank you, General Dunford, for your inspiring words. They provide a fitting capstone to the education of the class of 2020. Your life dedicated to duty stands as a guide for our lives of our graduates that now begin. 
Siddle alumni enjoy a well-earned reputation for providing outstanding service to our nation regardless of the profession or field they pursue. The ultimate expression of this selflessness is our graduates recognizing the needs of their country and answer the call to duty in the armed forces. Our ROTC detachments and their respective services exercise unique processes this year to commission the members of the class of 2020, marking the official start of their military careers. As one of only six senior military colleges in the United States, the CIDL takes great pride in our graduates' military service. CIDL alumni distinguish themselves in combat in every major conflict from the Mexican-American War of 1846 to the present day. It is my distinct privilege to thank the men and women of the class of 2020 who will serve our nation. The gold bar you will wear either as a second lieutenant or as an ensign is symbolic of the trust your country places in you. You entered the Citadel grounds four years ago as untested members of the fourth class. Today, you emerge as confident leaders capable of meeting any challenge and solving any problem. The lessons you learned here form the basis for all the decisions you will make, and you'll be a more effective leader as a result. Congratulations. Thank you, General Walters. The conferring of degrees to members of the Citadel Class of 2020 will now take place. The Board of Visitors Chair, Colonel Price, will confer the degrees. Mr. Chairman, I am pleased to present these candidates from each of our five academic schools who have been certified by the faculty as having successfully completed all requirements for their respective degrees. Class of 2020, you have earned your degree under sometimes difficult circumstances. The resilience you have demonstrated throughout your time in the South Carolina Corps of Cadets is something you should be all proud of and something all Citadel alumni should applaud. By the authority vested in me by the General Assembly of South Carolina, as Chairman of the Board of Visitors, I confer upon each of you the baccalaureate degree for which you have qualified with all the duties, rights, and privileges pertaining thereto. Congratulations. This is the portion of today's ceremony where each of you would walk across the stage and I would have the honor of shaking your hand and presenting you with our diploma. I'm sorry we can't do that today, and I hope I will see each of you in September for the chance to hand you that tube and memorialize an honor deferred. Now I'd like to take pause to reflect on our civil experience. The class of 2020 was unique even before your recent disruption. You shared a lot together over the last four years, and we want to look back on some of those special moments with you.
It is a subtle tradition. The last cadet crossing the stage alphabetically offers remarks to the class. So in keeping with this unique part of civil commencement, I am honored to present Cadet Brennan Ziegler. Why did we do it? Did we do it for our parents? Did we do it to prove something to ourselves or someone else? Did we do it because we wanted to be different from our peers? Or did we do it because the Citadel was the only place we applied and had no alternatives? One thing that most of us gathered from our four year experience is that people are always watching, watching the good things and the bad things that you do. People are constantly judging who they do and do not want to be like. More importantly, what I've gathered is that it doesn't matter who you are or what position you hold, someone will always be looking up to you. That being said, strive to be the good that you want to see in the world. Always try to be a good example. Help others, work hard, be positive, don't complain, and others will follow your lead. A quote that carried my roommates and me through this year, the world is run by tired men, truly embodies what it means to give all that you have in the pursuit of excellence. As we part ways from our beloved institution and disperse into the world, we have an opportunity to leave our mark to be extraordinary. Make people wonder what is so special about the men and women of the class of 2020 as we work tirelessly in our civilian or military careers. Class of 2020, look down at your rings. What do you want that ring to mean to those on the outside? Do we want it to represent just another graduating class in the Citadel's history? Or do we want it to represent the greatest class to have ever graduated from the Citadel? Now, being the Citadel's greatest class is an ambitious goal, but in pursuit of this title, I propose two challenges. First, help someone every day. Making it a point to help one person in some way every single day will make a monumental impact on those around us. Second, be the most successful class to ever leave Lasane Gates. Do this through the relentless pursuit of excellence in all areas of our lives. Now, we all wear the ring, but will you be the one who gives the ring its noble reputation? Or will you be the one who coasts on the ring's reputation, wondering what it can do for you? The choice is yours. Thank you. Thank you, Cadet Ziegler. Congratulations to all the graduates and welcome to the ranks of the Citadel alumni. It is now my pleasure to call upon the president of the Citadel Alumni Association, Colonel Edward White, class of 1966 to initiate the class of 2020 into the ranks of the long gray line. Ladies and gentlemen of the class of 2020, on behalf of more than 34,000 graduates of the Citadel worldwide, many of which are watching today, I'd like to say congratulations for a job well done. It's been 54 years since I walked across the stage in McAllister Fieldhouse and received my diploma from then president of the Citadel, General Hugh P. Harris. Never in my wildest dreams did I think that more than a half century later, I would have the honor of being a part of a virtual graduation. And let me say that I am so proud to be with you today. A lot's changed since I graduated. For starters, as you can see from this picture, I'm twice the man I used to be, literally. Despite the changes we have been forced to accept, many of our treasured Citadel traditions continue today, and even the coronavirus cannot change them. This brings me to why I'm here, the turning of the ring. This simple gesture represents our transformation from Citadel cadet to Citadel graduate. Few classes have had greater challenges than the class of 2020. And you will be long remembered for your ability to respond to adversity and win. The ring we wear is sacred to alumni. I know it's important to you and the importance will grow as time goes by. Having said that, I've been asked to share a story from a good friend, Tip Hargrove, class of 71. Tip is chairman of our ring committee. As the story goes, one morning several years ago, 
at 6 o'clock. A core ring showed up on eBay. It had a readable engraved name inside. By 6.15, our ring committee spotted it and sent out an emergency alert to the class of 2002. By 7 o'clock, we learned that the ring belonged to a grad deployed to a classified location. By 8 o'clock, classmates had the grad call from his classified location. He told us that his ring was stolen, stolen in Paris two years ago. The ring committee rep told him, we know where that ring is. The grad, a U.S. Army major, is shocked, absolutely shocked. How is this possible? How can I get it back? The ring committee rep simply said, don't worry, we're on it. By 9 o'clock, the ring rep contacted the seller in New York, and after a short conversation, the seller agreed to pull down the sale. Before noon, the seller agreed to return the ring to the grad at no cost. By amazing coincidence, the grad was scheduled to return to New York for R&R. The ring committee arranged for the grad to meet the seller in New York, and the ring goes back on the grad's finger where it belongs. Why did the seller agree, you might ask? Because in his words, I've heard of the Citadel. I know what you do for our country. I know what you stand for. That, ladies and gentlemen, is the Citadel Alumni Association in action. That, ladies and gentlemen, is the long gray line you're about to join. We will have your back as you go out into an uncertain world, and that's a certainty I will bet on. And now, it gives me the greatest pleasure to say Class of 2020, remove your band of gold. Turn it around, replace it on your finger, and hold your hand up high for all to see. You are our mighty citadel. You are the class of 2020. Ladies and gentlemen of the class of 20, congratulations again, and welcome to the ranks of the Citadel alumni. As my first squadron commander once told me, as I went out for my first solo, may all your takeoffs be followed by safe landings. You go dogs. Traditionally, we invite each graduating class into the ranks of the alumni by singing the alma mater together. Today, a 1991 graduate who happens to be the newest addition to Citadel Alumni Association's exclusive list of distinguished alumni, joins us to lead this essential part of our ceremony. Morris Robinson. He is an international opera star who was also an All-American football player at the Citadel. He has the distinction of having earned an honorary doctorate in fine arts and was a commencement speaker for the Citadel class of 2017. Without further ado, I present Dr. Morris D. Robinson from the Citadel class of 1991. Hello, it's Morris Duran Robinson, class of 1991 Hotel Company. Today is a very special day for the Citadel. The class of 2020 has undergone tremendous circumstances and overcome historical travesty to make it to this day. Today also commemorates the graduation ceremony of the first African-American to graduate from the Citadel, Mr. Charles Foster. To honor the class of 2020 for their resilience and to honor Charles Foster for opening a door that many of us have gone through since his departure, I'd like to sing both verses of our alma mater. Oh, Citadel, we sing thy fame for all the world to hear. And in the paths our Father showed us, follow without fear. Peace and honor, God and country, we will fight for thee. O Citadel, we praise thee now, and in eternity. 
Ladies and gentlemen, we all wish we could assemble today and celebrate in the traditional way, surrounded by family and friends. We can't be together in person, but we can still share our mutual love and gratitude virtually. As we bring the ceremony to a close, I invite you to go to commencement.siddle.edu to see each graduate's special commemoration. There remains one final event before we conclude our ceremony. It is my honor and pleasure to issue the final general order for this academic year. Class of 2020, dismissed! Well, I still can't believe that four years have gone by. Here, I still feel like Nabir was just a few months ago. I leave a different person than I was when I matriculated. And I couldn't have done it without the help of others. Uh, first off, I'd like to thank uh, my mom. And daddy. Uh, I wear the ring, just like you. And this guy right here, without <laughs> him, I wouldn't have made it. When, you know, when I got here, I gained a whole new family. Uh, my classmates, y'all are what got me through the Citadel of none. Brothers and sisters in our Echo Company, best company in the court. Play Echo in November. All my classmates back in Oscar. Long of Romeo. And then, yeah, friends. Shoot. <laughs> I've got good ones. For always being there for me through the good, the bad, and the ugly. As an international student from Taiwan, I don't think I can ever finish this without all the help from you. To all the people that have taken me in like family since I came here, just know that you are the reason I am today and I wouldn't be here without you. Every single one of you that I've met have made a tremendous impact on me. It's been an absolute honor and privilege to attend an institution and learn from so many great military minds and uh, outstanding uh, teachers. They worked diligently so that way we could wise up and be to where we are now. And also thank y'all for our many conversations about things outside of academia. I learned more inside and outside of the classroom than I could have ever imagined and made some of my greatest friends. I'm really just thankful for this experience and I'm, I'm really blessed to have gone to such a great institution. This journey was long, but it was worth it. One day I'm gonna hear a lot of great things from each and every one. The future starts now, so I wish the best success on everyone. I'm excited for new beginnings. Um, I will cherish the memories that I made here. And can't put into words how much it means to me, the, the amount of support that I've been given in the last couple of years. To all of my friends and family who helped me get here, stay here, and get out of here, I couldn't have done it without y'all. I'm very grateful for this day, and I'm grateful for the days that are yet to come. This experience is something that I'll never forget as long as I live. We made it.